Of course, the United States condemns it. We do not yet have proof or true cause, but we are in active consultation with the United Nations allies about it, and we will proceed through the UN because I think we are as a part of the United Nations. The only thing I would like to remind the American people of is that when the United States went there, we had 20,000 troops. We're now down to 4,000. We went there because 300,000 Somalis had died from starvation, from deprivation, and from warfare. And millions more lives were at risk. As a result of the mission there, food is flowing, medicine is flowing, schools have been reopened, crops have been replanted. Uh, there are, regrettably, people who still have a, a vested interest in misery and murder and mayhem. And uh, so our people are at risk. But I still believe the United Nations mission was well-conceived and properly undertaken. And we will do everything we can to find out who was responsible to take appropriate action, and most importantly, to secure our, our remaining forces who are there. What do you mean by appropriate action? Former President Carter uh, said that we ought to stop chasing warlords around Somalia and get back to uh, the humanitarian mission primarily, stop being an enforcer. Do you agree with him? I think it's important that the United Nations make a, a, the right decision on that. I don't think we uh, need to be chasing people around. But on the other hand, if, if, if those groups are putting the United Nations forces at risk and trying to interrupt their humanitarian mission, we have no choice but to protect our people and to try to make sure the mission can succeed. And I would remind you again that outside Mogadishu, uh, the, the mission uh, continues to be quite successful and by and large free of violence. So I, I would agree we don't need to be chasing the warlords around. We have done our best to, uh, through the UN, to have an accord with the warlords. And most of them have been willing to go along. So uh, the problem is what do you do if the warlords themselves seek to interrupt the humanitarian mission for their own purposes. That's really the issue. And uh, the United Nations has been reviewing that. And we, we have been an active part of that uh, debate. If the warlords are found to be responsible for this. Hadid has been responsible for previous ambushes. I mean, we know that. He is, he is being chased. He's not being caught. Uh, he seems to be the one responsible. Well, I don't want to say any more about that today. I want to wait until we know more. If the warlords are, are found to be responsible Thank for you. the killing of U.S. citizens, U.S. soldiers, will we then step up attacks to chase? I want to wait. And I want to wait until we know who did what. I don't like to answer hypothetical questions about this. Can I ask you one question about Bosnia? Thank you. Is, is the UN the, the possibility of a UN veto on uh, airstrikes in Bosnia? Is that, does that make it more difficult for you to carry out the policy that you want? Well, I, I, let me say all along, I have tried to remind everyone that. Uh, particularly since we have no forces on the ground there. We're not in the same position uh, that we're in uh, with regard to Iraq, for example, where we have an ongoing United Nations resolution that permits us to act in the interest of our country and on our own under certain limited circumstances. That is simply not the case with regard to, uh, to Bosnia. But uh, the good news is that the NATO allies have gone along with us, that, uh, that the United Nations at least seems open to a more aggressive position, and once again we see whenever the, uh, the uh, West acts in concert, the United Nations or NATO acts, we get a better climate for negotiations. It happened again this time. So <clears throat> I would certainly hope that nothing would be done to, uh, to let up on the pressure and that we can continue along the lines we're on. And I, I'm very hopeful that we can. I think we've now seen results uh, that, are, that are somewhat hopeful. I think we should stay where we are in this posture. And I think the Allies will go along. Have the Serbs done enough to avoid airstrikes? <laughs> Thank you. 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 Thank you.